Adjutor is a 26-meter fast cruising sloop designed by Langan Associates of Newport, Rhode Island and built in 2002 by Yachting Developments of Auckland, New Zealand. The design brief called for a fast, sea-kindly, world-voyaging yacht that can be easily operated by a crew of three. Comfortable accommodations for five in the owner's party, separate crew quarters for two and all amenities. On her maiden voyage of 2,300 miles from New Zealand to Tahiti, she averaged over 10.25 knots. She's cruised over 24,000 miles since launching, a good percentage with only three aboard, so she has easily fulfilled her design requirements. The yacht is named after Saint Adjutor, the patron saint of yachtsmen, a name that has proven to be most fitting. Let's take a closer look aboard. At the transom, there are custom stainless steel davits and a stable carbon fiber passerelle. The stern rail supports the ensigns, antennae, stern lights and man overboard equipment. Immediately forward of the after deck, there are two large hatches for the owner's stateroom. The large open after deck can be used in port for occasional lounging furniture and when offshore, this area houses the tender with custom chocks and removable pad eyes. Below the after deck, we have a very large stowage area for all the yacht's equipment, including fishing gear, dive compressor and tanks, bin storage for equipment and spare parts. We also store flares and safety equipment here, and the area is large enough for extra cruising equipment such as bicycles. The deck layout and sail handling systems aboard Adjutor have been engineered for simple sail handling by a crew of three. All sheet winches are easily accessed from the cockpit and are all Harken self-tailing hydraulic. Primary Genoa winches are forward, the port aft winch handles the main sheet and the starboard aft winch tends the self-tacking staysail. The wide Harken Traveller is controlled by a self-tailing winch just aft of the helm. The only sailing function outside of the cockpit is the management of the running backstays just aft of the cockpit, with Harken manual winches. The custom helm console has all engine controls, bow thruster, windlass and autopilot controls along with all deck lighting. There is also Brooks and Gatehouse performance instrumentation on the console along with two repeaters at the companionway and a Furuno Navnet screen for radar and plotter. Navtech hydraulic controls for backstay, boomvang and outhaul are to starboard of the helm with the engine panel to port. This yacht is very simple to operate indeed, both under power and sail. Adjutor's low-profile pilot house and clear teak decks are complemented by a tall and powerful Southern Spars carbon fiber rig and carbon Park Avenue flared boom with lazy jacks for easy mainsail handling. All sails are raised by Harken self-tailing hydraulic winches and the tails are stowed in mesh bags. The luff track for the fully battened, full roach mainsail is a Fredrickson Batcar system and the carbon fibre spinnaker pole stows on the mast. Immediately forward of the mast is a full width track for the self-tacking staysail. The foredeck area is a clear, wide expanse of teak deck with low profile hatches. Staysail and headsail furling are hydraulic by Reckman. There's a full bosun's and stowage locker with spinnaker stowage forward, line stowage, hose and other deck equipment. The anchoring system on board is simple and practical with a custom stainless steel bow roller for the 100 kg CQR anchor and a channel aft to the Maxwell 4000 windlass. A second anchor stows in a separate deck access and is easily deployed with a chain and nylon road. 
The cockpit area is protected from the elements with a low-profile spray dodger set upon a beautiful laminated teak combing. The bimini top provides sun protection and a degree of protection from rain and spray. The bimini design incorporates a solid stainless steel framework with a light tan canvas top, slightly cambered but with a thin profile which doesn't detract from the yacht's elegant profile. In addition, the stainless framework for the bimini is extremely strong, providing a safe handhold in all conditions. The cockpit offers ample room for six to eight in comfortable seating that surrounds the varnished teak drop leaf table. The center of the table has a stowage area and a reversible center section doubles as a glass and can holder. The cockpit also provides for proper night lighting and windshard pad eyes for safety harness connection when sailing in rough weather. The pilot house aboard Adjutor is conceived and built as a proper working pilot house that offers great visibility at deck level and also serves as an efficient and comfortable office. The pilot house was designed for the crew to operate even in wet foul weather gear as the blue ultra leather is water impervious and access to this area even in bad weather is unrestricted from the cockpit. In inclement weather the windshield is cleared by four sets of wipers. The helm seat forward to starboard is a fully articulating chair by Stid covered like the settee to port in blue ultra leather. From the pilot seat, we have full 360 degree visibility and easy reach to all communications, navigation instrumentation and the ship's computer. The yacht can be steered from the pilot seat using the autopilot control and there are full engine controls to hand. Forward and to port of the pilot house is a wet gear locker with a fan for drying wet weather gear. On the aft bulkhead, we stow flashlights, binoculars and other deck equipment as well as all manuals and other navigation books. The full beam width of the salon is accentuated by the four hull ports, which add an abundance of natural light. There's a large dining area to starboard that surrounds a custom inlaid teak table. Two additional chairs in board allow comfortable dining for six. The aft bulkhead cabinetry offers additional stowage for books and entertainment. To port, we have a very comfortable couch, cocktail table and a custom articulating lounge chair, which adjusts hydraulically to all angles of heel when the yacht is sailing. This is a unique and very practical feature on board. The aft salon bulkhead to port houses the entertainment center with a large Fujitsu widescreen monitor and a comprehensive stereo system by Sony and Philips. There's also a drinks refrigerator below the entertainment center. The owner's stateroom aboard Adjutor is a full width suite that has an entry vestibule with an ensuite head outboard. The full queen-size berth is slightly off-center to starboard, which allows a proper-sized writing desk and chair to port. The writing desk also seconds as an illuminated, mirrored vanity table. There's a second articulating lounge seat in the owner's stateroom and a large stowage capacity provided by drawers, lockers and cedar-lined hanging lockers. The owner's stateroom benefits from natural light and ventilation from two large overhead opening hatches and the two clear hull ports, port and starboard, accentuate the width. The ensuite head is nicely detailed with teak and corian with an undermounted sink and custom fixtures. There's also a large stall shower. The guest stateroom aboard Adjutor is comfortable and very large, running fully 7 meters from the aft bulkhead to the ensuite guest shower. A hull port provides natural lighting. The stateroom has twin lower berths and a pullman berth that adds flexibility to the guest accommodations. 
There's plenty of storage provided by drawers, lockers and cedar-lined hanging lockers. The ensuite guest cabin head is large and well appointed with a large stall shower and an opening hull port for ventilation. The galley is located just forward of the main salon and runs the full width of the yacht. The dinette outboard to port of the galley seats four and can also convert to create a double berth. An abundance of Corian topped counter space and plenty of stowage and cabinets makes this a professional working galley. There's a refrigerator outboard and a large front opening freezer that also loads for the deep freezer area and houses a clever spice and condiment rack system. The four burner propane broad water stove with oven and broiler is fully gimbaled for cooking under sail. There's an extractor fan above. There's a sharp microwave oven, deep stainless steel undermounted sinks and a brawn trash compactor. In the galley overhead there are two hatches for ample light and ventilation in this area. For cooking underway or for larger groups there's a removable custom work table that provides additional counter space and also provides a stable handhold. The crew stateroom aboard Agitor is as comfortable and spacious as the guest accommodation. There's a large double bed outboard to starboard, nightstand, drawer, lockers and hanging locker stowage. There's a seated office area outboard to port and a flat screen TV, DVD player and a repeater for the Brooks and Gatehouse instruments completes this efficient and comfortable area. The ensuite crew head has a large stall shower with a washer concealed outboard in the head and a dryer concealed in the shower. Agitor has an exceptional engine room for an 85-foot yacht with full standing headroom at the workbench to port and an opening hatch to the side deck. There's a pedestal washdown sink in this area and near standing headroom on both sides for access to both generators air conditioning master control and the hydraulics. There's plenty of manoeuvring room to the centerline engine and the electronics outboard to starboard. Adjutor is in all respects a magnificent yacht.